to experience what we've just done oh. on the seafloor. Something that nobody's seen before. Oh. It was, yeah, it was the best dive ever. Okay, Roger, all station, uh, release, release. This time round, we were going to slightly shallower water depths, around 2,200 metres, at the outer extent of where the ice sheets extended to around 20,000 years ago. Why we selected this dive was to look at evidence of how the ice has changed and moulded the seascape and influenced the associated biological communities. Heard in sonar, we're going to come across a chasm there. It was like there's a thing. Oh, wow. Look at the structure of that thing. We were flying over some sheeted till complexes. They mark a still stand in the glacial advance that allows time for sediment to accumulate and allow us to reconstruct what was happening. But I never anticipated it the glacial material would be so good. Oh wow, well, that is a sort of conglomerate, so it's lots of different types of rocks all sort of glued together. Oh wow, it looks beautiful. Boulder on my port side. Oh yeah. Not only were we seeing this sort of structure, we were also seeing glacial drop stones sitting on top. Is that drop stones from the ice? Yeah. Oh, how many crinoids are on that? And then, of course, all of that was just hoaching with life. Oh. It was like a children's cartoon painting. And the big surprise for me was how the habitats changed with the geology. Oh my God, it's an octopus. Okay, I got him. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> He's just so awesome sitting there all nice and neat, minding its own business. We just slowly came up and spied on it for a little while, and then we continued our transect up. Oh, no! Squid! You got it? Yeah! Oh my God, Kate, wow. He is coming under, he's coming under. Squid, octopus, coral, fungies. I mean, you name it, it was there in abundance as well, as you would expect, as there's so much marine snow, so there's so much food and nutrients going into the system. It you know, looks like a galaxy. Yeah. A lot of it will be alive, it'll be like phytoplankton and stuff. It's so beautiful. I've done so many sub dives, but this place in particular just seemed to connect everything else. It just feels like the keystone. I know it is in a, in a scientific way, but also just there's a feeling about this place. Being able to expand on pieces of the puzzle that we're putting together and to just experience what we've just done, it is special. You know, there's no other way to describe it but the best dive ever.